Hi everyone, welcome to the Crafty Maven Getaway. Today is Free Flow Wednesday. I am Desiree Scrapbook Nook here on YouTube and let's go ahead and get started on what I'm doing. So basically the collection that I am going to be use is from Simple Stories last year's summer collection called Sunshine and Happiness. I love the colors. Um, in fact, the last three years uh, I've purchased every single summer collection they made because um, I loved them all. So I'm not going to lie, this was not my first idea. The first idea, I try to use some gesso, and it, I have a really runny gesso, the, the brand, type of brand that I have. And so when I used this a stencil and then used these colors, it kind of just blended everything together. And so they just kind of merged. It was like too liquidy. I don't know. Maybe I didn't let it dry enough, the gesso. I don't know. But basically it all just kind of sat there and muddled together. So I decided not to use gesso and just kind of use the packaging technique um, and just take it in a whole different direction. But I end up really loving how this came out. I mean, you can never go wrong with those colors. I love peach. I love sea foam. Uh, this, and this is just the colors of Heidi Swap, but yellow, um, which I, she calls butter, and then the pink, of course. All those together remind me of either, either spring or even summer. And so, yeah, those are a lot of times my go-to colors because I just love the color combination. Next, I decided that there was a little something missing, so I wanted to take a few of those colors that I did use and sprinkle them across the actual spots where uh, I did the t packaging technique and I really like the look of it. <clears throat> now I did point out to where I kind of messed up on the side. You can see where it kind of brushed up on from the packaging. I don't care. I just keep moving on. That does not bother me at all. Next I grabbed one of the 12 by 12 sheets and I knew I wanted to fussy cut some of these flowers. They're so pretty. So I wanted them to go on the bottom of the page and that's what I'm going to do. You do see a couple of the 12 by 12s behind the white paper. Now I wasn't sure, I knew I wanted to frame it, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do yet. So, and, or what colors. So I have a couple of them just kind of sitting back there um, for a while. Now one thing off camera, and I do apologize for that, Sometimes when I'm getting distracted by my kids, I forget to turn the camera back on, but I did use some Heidi Swap Gold and I just splattered it all over the place, kind of crazy and messy looking, and I like that. You also see some sequins. Those are not glued down. I kind of just sprinkled them on the page and was like, is this going to work? I loved it, and I'm going to eventually adhere those down. There is the photo that I'm going to use, and it is of my daughter when she was, oh gosh, not quite two yet. And she's just sitting um, where we used to live, and we have this little tiny patio area, and I had a little kiddie pool in it, and she's just sitting in there enjoying the water and splashing around, and oh, if I could just rewind time and go back to those days, I, I miss them. But uh, anyways, so without getting too emotional, because she just turned eight, so I'm a little, forgive me, I am a little emotional right now. Um, but I tended, I turned the photos in black and white, even though her bikini matched beautifully with these colors, the pool did not, and it was a very like a lime green, and it kind of threw the colors off, so I turned it to black and white. I ended up finding, while I was digging through my stash, this old Amy Tangerine stencil. And doesn't it not match that flower <laughs> in the layout? So I was like, eh, I'm going to go ahead and use that. Plus it reminded me of like little splatters of water. So I end up using some Shimmers Dazzlers in See You in the Morning. And I love, 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 love that color. I also have the textures. It's Petunia, I think, of... By shimmers and it's the same color but yet it's textured so there I am just kind of making it um, symmetrical having one on each side so that way the my photos can nestle in between <clears throat> I'm gonna drink a water real quick okay so 
I am going to take this frame and just kind of start layering. I have a few pieces of paper layered up behind the photo. And that frame right there, oh gosh, if I would have paid attention to what I was doing, I wish half of it's going to get covered up. And I wish I would have cut the half that was covered up and saved it for another day because I have, and I'm not kidding you, three packages of those Dear Lizzie frames. I have only used them a few times, and guess what frame it was? That exact same one. <laughs> That's the only frame I've used on that package, and I don't know why, because they're all so darn cute. But uh, yeah, I wish I would have saved it. So at least I had another piece, because that peach, I just, I love peach. And you don't see it too often. So I wanted them side by side, the pictures. So like I said, that way they're nestled in between the two, I don't know, flower, the flowers or the two water splatters. I don't, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm just going to call them flowers, but there we are. They're all nestled and it looks perfect. Next I do grab this Simple Stories sticker sheet. Um, it was like a package of them. I tried to make something work, but it just didn't fit with the photos. So I decided to move on and I ended up cutting a lot of it out because I was like sitting there forever. I don't know if I thought <laughs> something was going to magically appear, but uh, yeah, I cut a lot of that out. So there I am. I positioned the flowers exactly how I kind of envisioned. And then I'm going to move on to the title. And the title is I'm using some October afternoon. I think they're like the Daily Flash. I don't remember the color, but it's the color that's kind of like a mint green or aqua, however you want to describe it. I think they call it Mason Jar, that one. I don't remember. Anyways, it's going to be Sunkiss Baby. And I took L Studios uh, stamp set. It's the Jordan one, and to spell out the word baby. And I really like I, the, that stamp set. I kind of forgot that I even had it. But there's basically little, a little pattern in each of the letters, and they're super cute. It's like a pen stripe and a polka dot, and I think one other one, but I don't remember. I guess I'm gluing down the flowers. I thought that I had already done that. <clears throat> now, in a minute, you're going to see... Actually, no, I'm going to be sprinkling the sequence now on the... Uh, layout, not sprinkle them. I'm going to adhere them. And I just use some Scotch quick dry adhesive to adhere it. And they don't, the white does not show through. Uh, because the three sequence, and I, I apologize if I already mentioned the colors, because I've done this voiceover now a few times. <laughs> but basically I used a pink, a pearlescent pink, and then a clear. And it's funny because when I was going through my stash, I thought, why did I buy clear? I don't even remember buying clear sequins. But I end up really loving the look of them. And I will show you a close-up in the end. But I, I like the look of it just kind of as if it's bubbles or, you know, just little water droplets kind of sprinkling all over the place. Really pretty. So while I'm adhering those sequins, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about those word phrase strips. And I almost said stickers, but they were not stickers. Because nothing worked in the sticker package or that was by this collection, I ended up using Coco Vanilla's Hello Sunshine. There was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that had a ton of word phrases and the colors were just so pretty and and quite um they had some of the colors that were on my layout were on that um, cardstock so i just found the ones that i thought matched i don't remember the name of or what they said and i apologize for that i don't have the layout in front of me um but obviously they went for the summer and i just cut out a few and then i'm going to go ahead and adhere them I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do it. At first I thought maybe I might have them on the photo, but then I decided to layer them like on the flowers instead, just to kind of dress it up a little bit. Here I am looking in again at a sticker sheet. Oh my goodness, I thought I cut, cut that part out too. Apparently I didn't cut enough. But um, yeah, again, 
Hello, Desiree. There was nothing there before. There is not going to be anything there now. So there I go adhering the word phrases. And then I'm going to grab out of my stash, just because I felt like it was kind of bare up on the left top part. Um, I just thought it was bare. So I went through my stash and I found a freckled fawn wood veneer that has been in my stash. Oh my gosh, it was when I they first came out with the embellishment kits and there it is, it says hello. And I really like that because it says hello, sun kiss baby. And then I added also a freckled fawn that was from again, a embellishment kit um, when they first started selling them. A sequence bow and I just wanted it in the middle to kind of tie the two photos together. And I really like that. Also another thing that you didn't get to uh, see me do, is um, there is a stamp at the bottom using the same ink that I did at the top and that is a Felicity Jane stamp and it says can't handle the cuteness because I can't <laughs> I miss her at that age and then I also framed the layout using a 12 by 12 sheet from that collection and that's it guys I just want to say thank you so much for joining us here at the Crafty Maven I hope I inspired you and you have an amazing day bye